Ridley alone up top. Real difference maker in the passing game for Alabama. Harris is on him. Hurts looking that way. Kirk throws it for the end zone, but over the head of Ridley. And Parrish had fallen down. That's yeah, on Hurts. He, he had him. Empty backfield. Hurts is keeping a straightforward call, but it goes backwards as the dogs swarm. Jonathan Ledbetter off the edge. It's fourth down. He comes in motion. Hurts running all the way. Sidesteps a couple of tacklers. Works hard to get a couple yards before DeAndre Walker brought him down. Well, they're doing a good job of, of really, as we said at the beginning of the, of the telecast, Loading up against quarterback run. The plus. Hurts, take a look at the backfield. Wanted to throw downfield. Hit and sack from the blind side by Devin Bellamy. It's the second time Jonah Williams gives up a sack. Bellamy right here. He'll actually get cut. But he doesn't give up on the play. And Jalen Hurts is holding on to the football too long. Under 100 yards offensively, Nick. What do you have to do to change it? Well, we got to do something. I mean, we just can't move the ball effectively. We haven't been able to throw it effectively at all. So, uh, and I don't think it's just all the quarterback. I think it's the whole whole group. We got to get open. We got to protect better. And, and here it is. Tua Tungavaloa, a true freshman from Hawaii, gets the second half start. He keeps it. He's a nifty runner, not quite as powerful as Hurts, but he's in there because he's throwing it. He, he he is known as a distributor, a great passer, a guy who has come in and, and even though he hasn't played a lot of meaningful snaps, the players believe in him. The players, the receivers especially, really believe that he can make the throws to give them a chance to be more balanced than with Jalen Hurts in there. That to put him in, replace somebody who's 25 and 2 and put him onto this stage, well, this is a test that this staff believes he will be able to manage. We'll have to also see the dynamic between him and Jalen Hurts. Jalen Hurts, a freshman last year, had his helmet off, and it was a year ago he was in this position trying to bring the tide back from a deficit against Clemson. He did it before Deshaun Watson worked his magic. Now he has to watch, see if Pankabaloa can get the tide even here. Shown a lot of maturity in the way he's handled Tavaloga going into this second half. Think about Loa trying to make up for it. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown! Alabama wins! What led to the decision and what did you tell Tua? Well, I just thought we had to throw the ball in a game and I thought he could do it better. Um, you know, so, and he did. Jalen, you've just been shaking your head. You've had that smile on your face. Your your reaction when you found out Tua was going to start the second half, honestly. He, he was going to step in and do his thing. You know, we, we have a lot of guys in the QB room that, that play really well. And he, he stepped in and did his thing. I, did, did his thing for the team. In every offensive huddle, you were right there next to him throughout the second half and over time. What was your message to him? Ball, play your game, ball. You know, he's destined for stuff like this. He's built for stuff like this. You know, he has that effect, and I'm so happy for him, happy for this team. Jalen Hurts is not impressive. I'm just go call it what it is. Somebody got to do it. Somebody's got to do it. Were you at that national championship game? Did you watch it on TV? I, I mean, my you weren't there God, I, I was there. I was there. I was in the end zone. I was watching this three for eight for 21 yards. It was one of the most awful, deplorable, embarrassing, impotent performances that I have ever seen. Right after the game ended. Jalen Hurts, you'll never play starting quarterback for the University of Alabama again. The guy can throw the ball better than Hurts. Hurts has better leg. But that couldn't get him out of harm's way because two years earlier, had Hurts been able to complete a pass, they'd beat Clemson, I believe. He's learning how life works in big time football factory, college football. It's what have you done for me lately. Absolutely. And if we find a better kid who's better thrower than you, you're done. You are old news. I mean, ever since the championship game, you know, people have counted me out. Um, people have said I'm going to go to Texas or go here, whatever it is. Alumni have said that. I mean, the list goes on. But regardless of what people are saying, I'm still here. 
And you know, as far as I'm concerned, my job is to be the best quarterback I can be, and that's what I strive to do every day. And it, I said, if he trots out on that field, I just feel sorry for defenses trying to defend this offense. This offense. 11 touchdowns on 77 attempts last year. That is scary. Hear the crowd's approval here in the Alabama faithful when 13 came trotting out. Guess who's staying in Tuscaloosa for the duration of the 2018 season? And look at the ovation that Jalen Hurts gets as he appears in his fifth college football game this year. Jalen Hurts in for him. And Jalen comes up throwing down the middle. Jalen Waddle. Jalen to Jalen. What a great speed, he's gone, touchdown. <laughs> 53 yards, Jalen Hurts, one snap, one touchdown. How about that, is that not class from Jalen Hurts? A perfect throw. He wanted to stay to get better as a passer. Josh Jacobs in motion. Tagovailoa fires in and out of the hands of Ruggs. Had to go airborne to try to pull that down, and Tua is down again. Whoa. Jalen Hurts is starting to warm up. I didn't see the end of the play here. Until now. Oh, oh it looks like it's his, his right looking like his right ankle. Oh, oh he got, got hit stepped by his own on. Guy. Yes, by Williams. Got stepped on by Jonah Williams as he threw the ball. He spent a lot of time in the tent in the first half, and he's going back to the tent, I can guarantee you. And that means Jalen Hurts, the guy who won all but two of the games that he started and was replaced at halftime of the national championship game on January 8th. Comes in to take over for the guy that won that game. Jalen Hurts has got to throw it here. Three wide outs to the top of your screen. Jalen getting some pressure down the middle. He throws a strike to Irv Schmidt for the first down. Third and five for him here. Georgia brings the extra man. Hurts trying to run away from the heat. Lofts one on the sideline. Is it caught by Waddle? Yes. To the Alabama locker room. Pump fake by Hurts. Wants to come back the other way. He's going to run for it now. He's got enough speed to get that much. Hurts. Sets his feet. Now starts to use his feet. Throws on the run. Touchdown, Judy. Third and seven. Hurts. Throws down the middle, and he's got it to Irv Smith, who dropped the ball to cover it. Pick up a 19 to the 31. Jalen Hurts looking for more. Going to the far sideline. He's got Waddle again. First and 10, Alabama. From the Georgia 15, inside the Chick-fil-A red zone. Jalen calls his own number. He runs to the 10. He's running to the 5. He is to the goal line. He is in. Touchdown, Jalen Hurts. Touchdown, Alabama, to take the lead with a minute four remaining in the ball. University and for his team, this championship is for Jalen Hurts. Well, we've always had a lot of faith in Jalen, and you know, I told him when we put him in, when Tua got hurt, it's your time, and he certainly took advantage of it and did a fantastic job. I'm, I'm so proud of this guy for what he's done this year. I can't even tell you. Well, I, I can tell you it's been a long time coming. It's been a long year. You know, I can look back. After the national championship game, you know, I'm in the hotel room with my parents, my brother and my sister, and you know, I'm, I'm in my my parents, my mom and dad's arms, crying. And I'm, I look up at my dad. I say, you know, what are we gonna do now? And he, you know, he told me. He looked me in my eyes. He told me. He said, we're gonna fight. And you know, I've been fighting for a year, not knowing what the result would be, competing, keeping faith, and um, you know, God was with me yesterday.